Articles are the most common type of source used in college level research, whether the articles are from journals, magazines, or newspapers. Website citations are often from online journals, online magazines, and online newspapers, but we will learn to cite websites later in the semester. This video focuses on developing citations based on the 8th edition of the APA manual. All citations include several statements, and in APA, these are separated with periods, just like most sentences. In APA, citations include an author statement, publication date, title statement, publication statement, and location statement. There are specific rules about how to format each statement. Pay attention to details. For any APA document, make sure to use the hanging indent format for the references page. That is important to separate the sources from the text of the document. Most APA documents follow the standard rule of one inch margins on all sides and double line spacing. However, when developing citations, the most important step is to determine the publication format. Books are cited differently than periodical articles, and each of these have subcategories and can be available electronically or in print. Make sure you know what you have and identify each of the citation statements before you begin. Last, never add anything that is not on the publication. Fabrication is just as serious as plagiarism. Just simply don't do it. In APA, citations begin with the author. Put the author's last names and initials only. Do not include the full name. Also, if there are two or more authors in your citation, make sure the author's names are listed in the same order as on the publication and put an ampersand before the last author. If there are more than 20 authors, list the first 19 authors, put a comma, and then an ellipsis, which is three periods, then the last author. All of them have the last name and then the initials. If there are any titles for the authors, such as doctor or senator, do not include them. The only titles that are used are for kings or queens of specific countries. If no author is available, begin the citation with the title of the article and the date statement follows. Begin by identifying the citation elements. Some of them may be hidden or in small print. Notice that this magazine article is just one article of a regular column in a magazine but the name of the column is not included in the citation. You might need to refer to the front cover for the volume and issue numbers. See what you can find. After the author statement, magazine citations include the complete date of the publication with the year, month, and date in that order and in parentheses. If you only have the month and the year, that's what's used. You can't make up anything just include what you have. The title and subtitle are separated with a colon and only the first word and proper nouns are capitalized. The name of the magazine is in italics with all major words capitalized and the volume number is in italics as well. The issue number follows immediately after the volume in parentheses but not in italics. Then a comma and a space then the pages of the article. Newspaper article citations are very similar to magazine article citations. Again, identify the citation elements, including the city of publication. Begin the citation with the author statement. The date statement is in parentheses. The title statement only has the first word and proper nouns capitalized, and the name of the newspaper is in italics. Usually the name of the city is included in the newspaper name, but if it isn't, put the city in parentheses. 
Don't include the volume and issue number for newspapers. Just the page number is included. This is the first page of a journal article. And usually all the citation elements are present. But some are difficult to locate or maybe in small print. This article has several authors and their degrees are provided for each author and sometimes you'll have the institutional affiliation. Remember that only the author's last names and initials belong in the author statement. No titles or affiliations are included. After the author statement, continue the citation with the publication year and parentheses and then end the date statement with a period. The title of the article follows with only the first word of the title and proper nouns in capital letters. If there is a subtitle, that is separated from the title with a colon and again only the first word and proper nouns are capitalized. The name of the journal is in italics with all major words capitalized. Then a comma and the volume number is in italics. Immediately after the volume and the italics and in parentheses put the issue number, close the parentheses and then comma and then a space and a page span of the article. Close the publication information with a period. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and most frequently these are assigned to journal articles upon publication. They can be used to quickly locate an article electronically. If an article has a DOI included at the end of the citation in this format, it doesn't matter if you accessed it electronically or in print. You need the DOI if it has one. If the DOI is separated on two lines, that is okay. It is a huge number. However, there are specific rules about where the line break can be. So just let the word processing system determine the location of the line break. If you have a big open space, that is okay. It is important to have the line break in the appropriate place or the link may not work. Also, do not put any punctuation after the DOI. That usually changes the link. When you look at a list of sources, it is important to recognize the format of each source. Without a label, you should be able to know which sources are books, which are journal articles, and so on. For example, books include the publisher, but articles only include the name of the magazine, journal, or newspaper. Journals and books provide only the year of publication, while magazines and newspapers provide the complete date. Newspapers put a P before the page number and only provide the first page of the article, while other formats provide the complete page span. What other differences help you distinguish the format of the source? For this tutorial, I included images of articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals available through Google Images, although they are real articles and the citations are accurate. If you want my assistance understanding or building citations, I am available.